The Voice marches into next week, two singers lighter, although in a late decision, the show is going with 11 performers next week, 10 singers, and Storm Team forecaster John Milan, who had two wildly popular cameo appearances last night. You beat me to it. I was going to say that, too. The addition, the addition of John to Team Adam was, was good, was controversial. Absolutely. It made me yell at the television. He had a great tie. Yeah, during the Cure song, really, I'm like, oh, I was so sucked in at that point. Yeah, Danny Clayton, Gretchen Bartlett from 94.5 The Lake with us again this morning. I mean, what can you do? All right, John had to jump on with severe weather coverage. Right. Uh, the good news is it made some people <laughs> mad because they were watching, but it was it was hot. He came on during the Team Adam song, the love song, love song by The Cure, mm -hmm. which was so cool. It was really, really good. Really Let's look neat. at some highlights from that as we will continue to talk about who is on and who is off. Uh, this is The Cure song you're talking about. Kind of an interesting choice. I'm not a fan of that song as much, mostly because of The Cure's lead singer, but this, he just nailed it. He really, this was good. And he, they really integrated the singers in. I had just tweeted about this performance right before Milan came on. It was so sexy. Not the girls so much, but Adam. And, and <laughs> I Milan. was totally drawn in, yeah. Team Blake performs Play Something Country. You know when Blake has been talking about this being a big moment and a big show for country music? It's a performance like this that he's talking about. Because this was fun whether you like country or not. It was a toe tapper. I, I don't know the song. I love the song after after last night. I like it when the coaches sing with the contestants. I think, you know, it yeah, because they're more relaxed and they just look like they're having a lot more fun. So I enjoyed it, too. And Lady Antebellum continuing the country theme joined by the ladies of Team Adam. Another really fun performance. Ladies only got one line a piece. Did you notice that? Well, they at least got a solo, though. <laughs> they did. That was, I mean, I thought that was pretty cool to be able to sing solo on stage with Lady Antebellum. That was a big deal for them. All right. And getting cut was Garrett. He was one of my picks. I think of the bunch probably, the, you know, the least to offer at that point. And then Vito also getting uh, the axe. I, I get it on both, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That was the right choice. Swan Brothers <laughs> survive. So <laughs> next week, top 10 performances live and two more performers will go home. The Voice returns Monday. The Voice report back on Tuesday. All right. Thanks.